Hello and welcome to Free Range Cottage. I'm Tanya and today I'm bringing you with me to a thrift store, a flea market, and the cutest furniture and home decor store retail, but you will love the ideas and all the eye candy. So let's go. The first thing we did was we went to Goodwill and saw that it was under construction, but luckily we were still able to go in. So thought this might be a great opportunity because maybe it's not as many people were going in, but probably no such luck actually. And you always look at the color of the week at Goodwill and some different thrift stores too. They'll do different discounts and sales. So just browse through. This is one that we don't go to very often. It's um, about a half hour from our house. And I actually haven't been going to a whole lot of thrift stores lately. I've been more purging and simplifying and I had a huge sale, sort of pop-up sale at my house. So I'm being very particular. I don't need a lot of stuff to take care of, but of course I do love my favorites and I love finding vintage or um, just secondhand pieces that can add character. I'm always on the hunt for uh, handmade pottery. I don't really care about its pedigree. I don't care if it's worth a lot of money. I just look for the shape and the design. Could be just somebody's pottery class project, but it came out great and I'm happy to have that too. I always kind of look over the furniture. I really liked the size of this ottoman. I thought if you wanted to um, slip cover it or recover it, it was a big coffee table size, which was nice. And of course artwork. I can always find artwork, but then I end up not hanging a lot of artwork up in my house. So I kind of uh, passed on most of that. And this is one that I almost bought because I loved the color. It said Lauren on the bottom, which I think it's a Ralph Lauren. And unfortunately, the price was right, the color was right. But unfortunately, there was a pretty significant crack in it. Rob's always good at finding those. The next place we went was this cute little flea market. Um, it's actually not that little, and boy, is it chock full of stuff. So we had fun browsing around in there. I mean, the booths were very, very full. And like I said before, wasn't really on the hunt for anything in particular so just kind of looking at what was out there this booth had some really cute blue and white pieces which are always appealing and I know a lot of people collect blue and white or decorate in blue and white and it always feels current. It seems to never go out of style. I mean, 20 years ago, blue and white was a thing and just like now it's a thing. So I think you're, you're pretty safe getting something like that for the long haul. These prices in here were really reasonable. That little covered uh, dish there was uh, $13, I think. It was very cute. Copper, I'm always looking for copper pieces. Really love our copper. These were so pretty. $20 on that little frying pan, which I didn't think was too terrible of a price. Another booth, just full, full, full love this blue and white um what am i trying to call that this always happens when i'm doing videos is i know the names of things and the minute i'm doing a video i can't think of, of what it's called and i've heard other youtubers that do thrifting or home decor and such say the same thing the same thing happens to them funnel there it is it showed up in my brain 
nice artwork again. I'm telling you, even if you have the money to buy everything retail or high end, it's worth thrifting or going to flea markets or thrift stores just to look for unique artwork. Some of it's one of a kind, some of it's amateur artwork that's done really well. These were very reasonable. I think they were $6.99 for a pillow cover, which is very affordable. I had to video this room because my son bought a record player a little while back and he's always looking for albums. So this is going to be have to be my youngest son. Oh, my oldest son actually has a record player too. But I don't know what albums he's looking for exactly. Loved these neutral rugs. So pretty. So much texture. I think they were 45 and I'm not sure what size they were. A lot of mid-century and cute pieces over here in this room. I work hard so my dog can have a better life said that sign and that's about right cute furniture pieces these mirrors were really stunning and there were two of them so over bathroom vanities or over a dresser so cute and there were two of these really cute little chairs as well And I think the mirrors were 119 a piece. I'd be surprised if they're still there. Vintage mixing bowls. I feel like my mom had some similar to this. Really good condition. And I think they were $30 for the set. Really reasonable. This solid maple little lamp was so pretty. You don't see a tall wood lamp like that. I thought it'd be so cute on a kitchen counter. Or just somewhere you want a little accent of light. The filming kind of went a little wobbly here. But this lamp, I've seen these just everywhere. And this one was 89 I believe. And the color isn't right, I don't think. I feel like it needs to be a white or a black or a more of a soft terracotta. But that could be fixed. And those lamps are hundreds of dollars. I'm still always a sucker for a good pharmacy style lamp. This one was really cute and it was, what, $40 right around? The tree branch ones were $70 for a pair, so $35 each. Not bad at all for being in a flea market. Really pretty vase. Vase or vase, $23. That is really pretty. I'm looking at that going, why didn't I probably pick that up? It's got such great colors. This brass piece was sort of like a um, drink dispenser or something, but I was thinking of it for a big plant. How gorgeous would a plant look in that? And it was, what did that show, like $30? It wasn't really, really high. I mean, you'd pay that much for a pot at Lowe's that I mean for that size easily always check out the old books lots of vintage pieces whatever strikes your fancy you might even need a fur coat this year this winter it is so hot here right now I can't even think about that Great Mexican pottery bowl. I always love these rustic sort of folk art pieces. I think they fit in great with a cottage style, depending on what your style is, but they're very nostalgic for me. Again, more copper pieces that would look great hung in a kitchen. And I happened to find a huge cabbage ware, lettuce ware plate for 20. And here's some of these great little pictures. I forget what those are called with the 
blue stripes on them. Tell me in the comments what those are. If you know, I always love looking at the jewelry. I've found really unique pieces at flea markets. Some of them handmade, some of them vintage. These little robin egg blue bud vases were so cute. And these were also made in Mexico and they were, I believe they were supposed to be like water glasses or drinking glasses, but I would probably use them as vases. But I'm sure you certainly could drink out of them. But they do not say lead free on the bottom, so I would recommend you test it, which you can get a little test kit just at the hardware store. These brass deer were just gorgeous. They had some really pretty brass pieces at this booth. Those rams are like bookends. I think these are just decorative or they're bookends. And I think it was $30 for the set. Oh no, they're candle holders. So cute. I know I'm going to want those around Christmas. And no, I didn't grab them, but maybe I should have. Super cute. Hopefully you don't hear my dog breathing in the background. He's laying on the ground sleeping. And I think he's talking in his sleep. Loads of jewelry at this flea market. Just so many gorgeous pieces. And of course, the sweet little parrot or African Grey. We were having a lot of fun talking with him. And he just wasn't too sure about us. But he was whistling and talking a little. Cute little mascot. Again. Oh, these mid-century candle holders. I don't always like mid-century stuff, but those were really pretty. And then this really pretty terrine, and they had some different dishes that match that. Although I feel like terrines are just decorative. I didn't, I've had a couple before and I never used them. Let me know in the comments if you actually put soup in them or whatever or if they're just decorative if you have any very mid-century lamps some blue willow in there it looks like a nice uh, china cabinet I don't know it seems like people are getting away from china cabinets anymore I don't know maybe not these cute little uh, original artwork paintings I mean, how adorable were these to hang in a grouping like that? I loved them. Some of these booths, you really needed to take your time. There was so much in them. Most of them in this flea market were very, very full. And you just had to take your time to look through, let your eyes adjust to all the stuff. there's something you collect you may have good luck finding it here I'm always on the hunt for pottery mugs or handmade type of mugs nice leather bags I don't have that many but if I see one that really gets me excited I might consider it and I love these pictures again I think they're hall I don't know what the name is but my mother had a lime green one but I loved the colors of these tell me in the comments what the name of those uh, types of pictures I think those are very quintessential mid-century again Lots of artwork to choose from. Oil paintings, I loved these really monochromatic prints. So pretty. Even framed nicely. Amber glass is always gorgeous to me. Especially come fall. Just wait, we're all gonna wish we had those. Once it gets cool out. 
and we're drinking warm drinks. Well, I don't think you'd drink anything warm in that. Next is Miss Daisy's. They don't even have their sign up really yet. This is a store that's out of Joplin and they have a small store about a half hour for me and then I saw that they opened this one and I was really excited. I have videoed the Joplin one before but just so many ideas. And I'm all about shopping in all different kinds of places for your decor so that it ends up looking layered and um, you know acquired over time it doesn't look like a, a furniture showroom but this so this place had maybe investment pieces that you would want to get maybe some of your upholstered pieces or like this gorgeous ottoman but they also have small items like tabletop and you know candle holders and bedding and and they have so many displays that you just walk away with loads of ideas and it's it's got a lot of modern pieces these are the boucle chairs if you haven't seen those they're like almost fuzzy almost like fur they're so cozy looking so there's a lot of sort of modern edge to things in here but yet I think it could still definitely pass for cozy or cottage or farmhouse or country house, French country, English country, whichever way you're going, traditional, but then I love that modern edge just so it looks fresh. They have a lot of different furniture pieces to choose from these leather chairs were perfect for a man cave or something I loved that bench the texture the colors and I'll take breakfast in bed with this anytime avocado toast and coffee please I absolutely love the the floral on the dark background florals are really coming back in those big florals are so popular now and I remember what when they were you know 20 years ago as well another gorgeous set of leather chairs and these have the caster wheels on them so kind of that vintage look those are pieces that you're gonna have in your house forever I absolutely love this room setting of course it's black and white which is one of my favorites And it just looks like you want to just sink in over there. This one had a Parisian apartment vibe to me. Thought it was really cute as well. And the rabbit, the bunny rabbit bowl. Again, there's your touch of cottage or country or farmhouse. Really cute pieces. Now, Rob was the one filming, and I think he just takes a walk around the store as if you were just walking in and gazing over everything. So just stroll along with us and pick out what you would purchase from here. If they said you've won a prize, you can take any one thing home. Tell me what it would be in the, in the comments. It's always fun it's kind of our game that we play every time I go to different stores whether they're vintage flea market thrift store would you take one of the something from here home or would you say no I'm good I have enough at home and I just like to look that's kind of where I'm at right now but I still do like to look and get ideas Although I am very tempted by that floral duvet cover, gorgeous. And I think Rob liked those leather chairs because they're very focused on them again. They have so many pretty console pieces. Look at this gorgeous velvet couch. Yummy! 
but that console piece in the back there the texture on it is just stunning so you could do your neutrals but you would have all these different textures that would make it so interesting they have a lot of really nice artwork that I like here and or things to hang on the wall Over here were a lot of smaller accessory pieces. And this bar cart I thought was really adorable. Brass and glass. And they had all sorts of cute little accessories on it. Beautiful plant stand in the rattan. And these gorgeous bowls well faces very organic looking thanks so much for watching and i hope you come back for more and subscribe and go over to my blog freerangecottage.com for more